It's so weird, too, just because of the individual level he brought to the Paris Major, right? I question all the events running up into it. But when it was crunch time, Dupree delivered. Yeah. Now everybody's breaking their ankles, dropping down into the CT spawn. Stair hanging onto the long control. Just lost device inside of the bomb site. Oh, but he's able to catch Snappy in the elbow. So Madden's one HP from early on gets him a kill. One HP can make a world of difference. Mad just, oh, he's not able to cross into the site. So now Madden's going to have to go astronomical. And it's not going to happen tonight. Two up for Astralis as they take the pistol. Also, just like to say about Bro, I mean, it, it felt like in like heresy to be like, oh, Bro coming in for Blame F is ever going to make sense. You would think he'd be one of the players who could pull it off for sure. But uh, it's a can of worms when you got this many good players who all have such unique play styles. Mm. Jabby head on a swivel. Ooh, three kills. On for the not ace and back. Oh, bro. Slap him. Hey. <laughs> Having fun out of the gate. Wow, why does Dupree actually look younger with a beard? Does he? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Jabby wanted it bad. And you know Jabby. Jabby looking for a looking for another chance at an ace. Oh, he's gonna gobble him up. Uh oh, running into the FB9. Yeah. Oh, it's good. And he's got the Beretta's back out. Sun Pius gonna stop him. That headshot was actually falling off the box. So he's about to have the most inflated scoreline ever. <laughs> These two rounds. <laughs> Already eight and one. No room for Sun Pius to get anything going, so the scout on Snappy has achieved unfortunately nothing. Oh, okay, I take that back. I sat down with Snappy on the media day. It's yet to be released, but I did kind of put him a bit... Uh, honestly, I put him on the fire. I was like, what was behind your historically poor performance last season? Because he had the worst season of Counter-Strike and is having, statistically, the worst year of his career. Mm -hmm. And um, CS2 was part of it. And also, he just said, you know, a lot of moving parts. And then he also said, I just sucked. Guns in hand, and Falcon still timid about the prospect of a potential top mid-swing device. Given the shot, and will most certainly land it. Then the cat aggression comes out. Stown so ready to tether off of the opera. Very nice and convincing setup from Astralis out of the gates. Mm, second servings. And leaving a Molotov behind his teammate just in case there are stragglers. There are layers, launders. <laughs> when we saw Astralis put this team together and then play at groups, I think I tweeted they were going to win Copenhagen. <laughs> you did, yeah. You you did. You said they're going to win uh, the Copenhagen Major. The Astralis after the break, you know? I think they are... And then they didn't qualify for the Major. And then they didn't qualify, so technically they didn't lose. <laughs> okay, that's a stretch. If you let him in. You had just let him in. Pius swinging that one around. I'd say lucky to be alive here. One bullet left in the mag. Getting toyed with. But you better not die after time. Oh, man. And they know where he is. He kind of has to die. Six seconds. They'll just go for it. Bro, going to keep three players up here for Astralis. Nice, convincing setup out of this round. Device not missing shots. And it's down into the action, too, so... I always thought when Dust2 came back that Device would be a happy man. Oof, dude's down. Great return on investment for that burst through the doorway. Dupree tries to follow suit. Might be a little quicker than Stown's expected timing, but he should still be raising the flag for Jabby as he's going to come peeking out window soon, I thought. He turns, oh, into the car player. And the timing here has not worked out for the CT. Jabby, <laughs> thinking he gets off site, falls to Madden, the third player through. So a beautiful, creepy crawl out mid that has net Falcons a very convincing round win. Yeah, I mean, just beautiful on the timing. That's that's it right there. The, I They got up to the doorway. One player down on the site, trade a place with a window. Madden keeping outside means there's no chance they retake. They get that frag as well, so... 
Falcons break the streak. All timing. All timing. All timing. Yeah. Just Dupree being literally 10 feet ahead of his expectations. Yeah. I think the most surprising thing in a bad way, I guess, about Falcons is that Tobias isn't able to kind of carry harder, right? Like, okay, not the Spanish superstar from movie stars, not the Spanish, you know, top six in the world on HLTV from Entz, right? Still very much in the early prime of his career, not the late prime of his career, and not able to be the reason that Falcons at least look good sometimes. The sun is dim. Flashes to the top of mid, stares on the chase. Oh, those flashes were good, but as his opponent regains vision, down he goes. Sun Pius here with nothing. Oh no, they don't bomb the bomb. Here. Now there is a silver lining. Magisk is back here. Falcons do have one player here to bail them out from the other end. But as he fires off into stare, that's going to be the high alert for the next two CTs also in position. And the flash goes deep into spawn. The gun yes. is empty. Oh, and Dupree oh, catches one back through, through smoke. smoke. His gun goes dry with a single bullet needed. Awkward one from Bro. Lineup what? almost for him. And all this time, Device has been sat on the other side of the doors asking, what is going on? Total loss of control of the bomb. That took like three errors back to back. To back. To back. And Device gets squeezed. Team Falcons, how do you bail yourself out of that? Just Magic's come back. Magic's saying, hey, let me check this out. Let's see what I can do. And they, they saved a lot of players, too. In a spot where, at best, that should have been a very close win. Oh, my God, back the same it. push. They still have long control really late into the round. It's still possible anything happens now. Um, Mollies are all out here. Trying to get off the angle. Deagle primes. Bomb drops. Oh, oh more damage. Dupree takes 90. Jabby does get out of the back of the site because support is inbound. And now attention turned to him. Stown and Jabby combining to shut this one off. Mm, good rotations. Not much punch there from Falcons. Great Deagle damage. Yeah, excellent eagle damage, and they weren't really ready for anybody up close on the left. Even though they had a lot of utility. They, they, had, they had utility, and they technically had time to molly those spots out safely. Like you said, there was, you know, one flash between two players there, one rifle. And uh, Falcons had the money, and they had the utility, and they had time. They didn't have that much time, but they did have some. After time. Ooh, and some pies dies after time. Overall B defense back in fast A hit. Here we go. Long stack. Both sides looking for the entry. And it's stare to dive down into the pit with Magisk the worse off. Wounded behind blue box. How bad do they want it? Stare comes back up. Double Molly on top of him. Oh, and he still gets two. Oh, even more. Damage onto the next one. Magisk fighting back with a double of his own. And a 3v3 is where we leave this. That spray was nasty. Stare was so low. Blinded. Oh, posted. Oh, shot missed. Oh. Now they know his teammates here, too, I think. Yes, they do. That is a critical whiff here from Sunpius. That should have been a free kill. That should have been the 3v2. You could have left your blue box player locked in. Instead, they are completely stranded. Dupree walking out mid as Bomb tries to get back into tunnels. Looks like Bro's going to get tested, but if Jabby can catch Dupree here, hell, even slow him down. More nades to pick up. He found another yep. frag, and that one's going to catch Dupree off. He's thinking he's safe to cross over, but he oh. loses out. Nicely done. Cache of utility down in the spawn. Excellent decision, and Bro is here to lock it in. Bada boom. Done. Wow. Nice round out of Astralis here. And uh, nice for them to leave those nades in spawn. Of course, that's uh, consistently meta. It's only became more so. Um, with the ability to blow up the CT smoke. Double Molly into perfect flash from his, his teammates. And the second headshot is ridiculous.
Stair was someone who at first was just sort of squeezed out of being anything extremely important on Astralis and yep. to now like in the perfect lineup, I feel like he's... Which is great because he cost them a lot. Yeah. And there were questions around it. Remember there was a time when Buzz got cut that there was a lot of pundits that thought, mm -hmm. oh, should it have been Stair? So he's coming into his own, plays a critical role in the last round, and Astralis looking to run away with the momentum off of the last. Stare again in with a double kill. Sun Pius given a chance, fires over towards Car and falls victim to it. Rock solid defense out of Stare in back-to-back -back rounds. I love the way he he rifles. He, just, he really does stand out, I feel like, mechanically, like in terms of his individual style. I think in terms of style, Astralis have lots of style. Signature styles, like autograph oh, stickers. Oh, okay. I was like, oh man, he's really got a lot of free time. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, signature style like in, in your gameplay. Okay. Well, that's much more analytical. Like like Simple's golf, golf waggle after he flicks, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah. That thunderous reverberation of the crosshair. Whoa. The donk slide. The Connor, he's on the roof. <laughs> Down on the peak. Oh, man. Just looking the wrong way at the wrong time. Drawn into the stair fight. Magus wanted to help. Gets blindsided by the flank. So just Astralis seemingly can do no wrong on their timings. And they've taken so many more opening moves than even the T's in this half. How many times are you going to charge down the barrels top mid? And in this case, when nobody's there, you just slip into the long control. So beautiful CT side coming together now for the Danes. Yeah, it's looking lovely. The Danes. The ones. The five guys. And oh, Sonic. Mark. <laughs> and Sonic, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, you're all right. Your argument's becoming compelling. Yep. Boys crosses back and gets caught. Nice headshot from Sun Pius. The very tail end of this T side. Looking for the three. That coveted third. On their map pick, need I add? But it has been a coveted affair from Stown, Jabby, and Stair. And Stair's not done yet. Tries to get his head tucked down. Oh, they expose him behind the smoke. Damn. Jabby just pulls back the curtain, tries to set up Stair with the flashes. He'll go into the fight. Sun Pius, it's a second headshot with this AK in the round. Still a 2v2. Bomb's in an awkward spot in front of the ramp. They have to dip in and grab it. Magic Magis does do that, but the flank's already coming in from Yabby one step ahead. Sun Pius locked in behind Car. Jabby just, ooh, unsuspectingly oh. steps into that. That's a 4K for Sun Pius. Spot for the ace. <laughs> oh, and he's going to end it. That's a hell of a way to get a third. And it's not the prettiest half, but you can't take that ace back from Sun Pius. You got this, you Nappy. Nappy's squinting because it's so far away. <laughs> or because he's 38. <laughs> Smoke trickles down, and that should indicate the numbers. Look at this stack coming. Ooh, we got ourselves a bloodbath queued up. Nade goes a little too deep. Sun Pius and Snappy, though. Kill a pop. Oh, nicely done, Snappy. Squint all you need. He pops two melons on the approach. And during the reload, Sun Pius is going to pounce out through smoke. Jabby 1v4. And as they encircle him on the site, Falcons, a fourth round win secured. That's nice. Now you can start off CT side on the right foot here. After following up with the ace from Sun Pius. Maybe I should join Falcons. You're getting old. You'd fit right in. Ooh, pop over the smoke, but you've already got two players up catwalk. And the third one's going to connect the headshot. Dupree definitely signed up for that fight. He was not being shy about giving up the duel, and Device just slips through with the headshot. So 5v4 in the gun round of Astralis. Uh, Gamble's looking... I don't know, actually. Is it correct? We've got a little test on Cap, but they're, they're wanting it. They're, they've won it, and they started to walk back. We could see them transition into this mid-B, which means that the gamble did not pay off here for Falcons. They early snuck Madden out of mid-B over towards the A site. Now he spams down. Some good damage through this, but no one now in the B site. Yeah, Magis coming out from the site in order to fight. I mean, he's got to try to hold off mid, but now the T's know they can storm through. 
Big moment here for Stown. It could be man advantage for the retake, and the flash oh. is good, but the spray is even better. Oh. Ton of damage offered up. Device going to clean up shop. And a man advantage post plant versus Madden. Jabby, this is a late play he's back got, around through middle. He's got such good timing, though. Surely he could. Oh, he's actually walking back. Right. Very late play to come out through mid. Madden's going to try to force his way forward. And luckily for Astralis, Device has got it all. I like sitting there, though, if you're, you're Device. It, you got an off angle on the door and you can just stand up if they make noise in the window or fall off. Because once you start running, you're not going to be clearing yep. that spot. So 10 rounds here, and again, Astralis, they power up a bit on T-side, does too. Ooh, fast attempts. Ooh, but he burns out. Stown may have traded Device, but will go down himself. So a little life left in Falcons by the looks of it. Trade might be coming out. Madden, does he get spotted? One in the window. B-site sort of open, and one kill goes back their way. Snappy to replenish that position. Madden up to the plate. Spotted last at top mid. Stair comes round and falls victim to the forward position. So nicely done from Madden here, kind of taking over the round, getting his eighth and ninth of the map. But Cat is completely open. Some pious, or excuse me. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, Snappy knows what's up. Has to come running back. He's no going for the kill him. instead of the plant. He'll lose the duel. So wanted the frag, then the plant, and then the clutch attempt. But enough's enough, says Snappy. Probably should have just got some cash, but um, I also didn't know if they were going to be tailing off Cat anyway, so. Madden playing a key role to the top mid-aggression. And then guaranteeing that that 2v4 doesn't get upended. Oh man, okay. Tempo change, here we go. Snappy to be tested. Oh, he's not able to hold back the pack. Uh-oh. Nate goes forward, Stown's still alive, and Snappy burned out of it. Instant B site control. Starting retake on B, and having to go for a five man retake. They have five players here, but there's even a late B guy coming in, bro. Oh. He's put a smoke down towards the tunnel's exit, too, so no open avenue for Falcons. Poor Snappy just gets forced out of the site. Now, bro going down in T spawn could reopen the possibility if they really want to push this. Time's going. Snappy's still waiting for a chance to strike. We've got flashes, incendiaries, everything Falcons would need to get the retake in. And Stown tries to get a little frisky. You've given over man advantage, but the bomb's so far gone that surely the CTs aren't confident. Yeah. And that's why they sit back and await the exits instead. Madding gonna leave the door open. Bodies dropping left and right. Vice hangs on, and it is 11 to Astralis. But... <laughs> he will at least be swept away. Yeah, nice one for, for Magic. Magisk. 5v5 is not really a setup for the B side on Dust 2. Hard side to retake. Going for it again. Magisk. Oh, wow. great position. Okay. Jumping Stown refrag is a little zany, but it's man advantage, of course, thanks to Magisk. Literally the same strat we've got, bro, coming in late. Sun Pius wary of it again. This time there's no smoke down on tunnels, so easy impact for Sun Pius. T's aren't able to deny him his early vision. And 4v2 should be queued up, but no oh, device off of the plat. Peeks in for three. And with the fourth player on window, device goes huge. Snappy now alone. As they know that T-spawn player's got to come and help Snappy trying to oh isolate, but device, that is massive. Damn, the, X, the big box player device. In the site by himself, bro, all the way back in playground, has to do everything alone. Yeah, there's lots of great underrated picks for longevity um, and just pure time, like for Crims and other players. But in terms of accomplishments and longevity, hard to compare with Vice. And from critical 4K to the obliteration of the mid play. Dupree's got his five majors, but individual level of device throughout the years. And uh, yeah, now taking on the new role. Springboards himself towards the top of the scoreboard for Astralis here on map one. Down a man and desperate. I mean, that is a back-breaking device 4K.
And when Sun Pius gets the kill deep into the site on plat the first time, because there's no smoke, it's like, oh, great, you've gotten the back-to-back -back B hits, but it really never felt like enough. Snappy, okay, inspired by his counterpart in IGL. Gets oh, hyper-aggressive with the MP9, again. but then Madden oversteps in the B site, now wide open for the taking. Unfortunately, the two Danes. I thought Falcons were going to come in hotter than this. Mm. Oh, but it is nice to see Astralis coming in so hot. Convincing individual level, big moments, and Jabby locked in behind car, keeps his head tucked. Device is just going to throw himself through the smoke. It is Bro with the wall bang to try and keep him off the site. Good attempt here from Magis because he does get the second. He would need the third, and as he taps that bomb because there's no kit, his hand has been forced. Running in his device, beautiful kill, but he jumps on and he knows his fate. Astralis have sealed it. That 4K moment, that's the one. Device leading by example. Beautiful stuff to close out Dust2. This is interesting because there's still another util out with the Molotov on Bro, and there's no contest from Falcons whatsoever. So they're going to have to let them play the pistol exactly how they want. They go for the deep donut Molotov, make sure that's clear. And before the smoke fades, we'll see how many players try to get off site. Fast flash towards Temple, sees that's open for the taking, for the retaking, that is. Jabby's got a double kill. It is oh the cleanest God. of sweepists. Easy does it in the pistol for Astralis. Yeah, well, never feels better than that. Enter a site, no one's there. Shout out to Rugga. Pick the perfect place to go. Keep it simple, keep it clean. It was pointed oh. out to me recently in my uh, Counter-Strike Elitist. Sorry, what was that? It was pointed out to me recently in my oh! Counter-Strike Elitist yeah. Twitter group. What? When that happened? Did you actually, wait, no, that's not even true. Well, I just looked at Vitality. Ooh. Oh, wait, hey, no. Pistol's wait, winning. No, that is true. Pistol's winning. Five sevens shining. Quick little reality check here for Astralis. It's not all fun and games. Whew, Matt had just getting back into the cover. Looks like the long fight's gonna happen first. Trying to keep them inside of cave. Feels like that is to support someone on site. And sure enough, Snappy's gonna be found out, but successful nonetheless. Bro also here to lend a helping hand. Bomb will be picked up with no contest. Yeah, they kept it calm. Rotations are very slow as well. This could be an excellent 3v5 recovery. They wish they could have picked up a... Oh, they did find a smoke. Ah, they did find a smoke. That makes the round a lot easier. But no plants means the CTs could do something tricky. <gasps> like that? Got the sneak oh, oh. Bro plays it cool and stare slams it home. Yeah, so zero Danes in the top five. Mm-hmm. Alexi B and Jim Pat in the top five. Nuke, yep. yep. Yeah, Nuke, holy. Before it was accepted, you know. There we go, a little utility. Opens a window for Magisk to capitalize. Curious to see how Snappy keeps his momentum going after these pistol kills in back-to-back -back rounds. Let's see him with a gun, because it's a lot of responsibility to be the forward cave play. And he invites Bro in. The water's warm. <laughs> Shark attack. <laughs> oh, gets another two. He's definitely done his job here in round four. Two kills to Snappy's name and a 2v4 for Astralis to try and claw back. Smoke in front of the CTs. That nade could find its home. Device connecting to the headshot, but he lost his last teammate. And Magis oh. is here to clear the board. So two frags snappy, two frags Magisk man. And Falcons on the scoreboard. Talking about two players that were very low there on the Falcons, but nice ones from Magisk. Take lane quickly. Oh, man. Shot. Shot. That was a golden opportunity. With shadow advantage. You'll connect with the second. Redemption shot. Snappy above. 
But we got a team between. Yeah, bros squeeze from three directions. Silver lining is while everybody is distracted with that mid play, Astralis creep out a main and put bomb down. Not an easy peek here for Jabby, but now that he's gotten this deep, oh, Magisk. Uh uh uh. Ooh, <laughs> very nicely done. Two good closing moments in back to back rounds from the Dane. Not plural. And we have Falcons converting. Like total libertarian attitude. Everybody do whatever they want. You're all really smart players. I feel like the conversation they have sometimes in preparation. Don't tread on me. Yeah, they play open-ended. Snappy having a field day versus lesser weapons. Stairs gonna remove him and hey, now Matt is a little nervous. Where there's one, there's more. Meanwhile, a site's being taken by two other pistols. Bomb is going to start running through T-Spawn, trying to go and join it. But it's a long way to the top. If you want to rock and roll. Oh, my God. What even happens here? Bro, find a timing. Oh, my God. Not the knife. What? No! All jabby, no stabby. <laughs> but Stown oh, has... Oh, man, and he could have got that kill, too. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Well, I mean, Sun Pius is dead. Op is still over there. Oh, in the lineup. Both spotted. Oh, come on, Stown. He oh, knows. come on. Chase him, and oh, he gets out. He's oh, got the chance. Around the lip. He's got the bomb. There's only one place he could have gone. But for Madden, after he clears this, what's he going to do? Because Stown could always re-aggress, and he could come back towards Donut. But at some point, he's got to start running. And I think he thought he's bought more time than this. But as you can see from Madden, he's not really doing much. Else. Surely this is going cave to be. Like, surely. I mean, you got to run. Yeah. He's got to go. And it's still going to come down to the wire. Yeah, Madden goes and clears this out. And he's still there's still the chance that he could have walked out long. But now you know, Madden, there's no chance it's going to be the A site. Okay, three kills on the dig plus the plant into the 1v1. Madden, you see him shrug it off. He's going to take this peek. Stown's going to go. Hit the deke. Hit the deke. He misses the chance. Let's Madden get that much closer. Oh, and he misses it. Can't quite close. A beautiful attempt from Stown. Costly for Team Falcons, but a round win's a win. Three to the board. Close one, guys. Oh, that would have been crazy. I would have hit him with the banter tub and like, yeah, if only we were a little bit better, you know? Yeah. They, would, they would never think it's me. We don't have to watch that one back. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Let it go. Oh, oh the headshot. What a nuisance. He's been doing a really good job of containing Cave. Oh, just deep wow. inside of red as well. Whoa, fire on the feet. Bro goes down. And now these gun rounds starting to fall apart. Team Falcons. Miss shot. Leaves the door open on A for a moment. Uh, 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 uh. Still flying it's the still steps. in the map, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice one. He's like, okay, I guess I'll clutch. Uh, what more has he got in store for us? I if he that. checks for the op again, I'm going to lose it. Do you hear that device doesn't have one in his name on HLTV anymore? Mm-hmm. Why? Still here. Connor's been off social media for a while, guys. <laughs> so I've been I've been in the woods. Crosses over. Oh. And gets taken down. Will be the heavy firepower of this round. Some Pius takes a hard line. Nice shot. Dodges in the op. Dodges the flash, excuse me. Head of the smoke on one side of it. So Dupree, he'll be happy. And two, Snappy is not losing control of yeah, Cave. True. Pistols or guns doesn't seem to make a difference. Sun Pius misses a shot and gives Astralis a chance to try and swarm him. He's got Magus still next to him. Another missed shot. Another missed shot. 
No more shots. <laughs> and the Deeg connects to the flank. And here we are Door to B is two. open. Yes, with the guy who has the bomb running There's away a... into a gun. Molotov on the roof of middle. And of course you think that Snappy, as the cave player, could have gone for the full flank around. Could be still in cave, which would be a perfectly good place to be. And hopefully not holding this where a device is going to. And the off angle is beautiful from Snappy. Right place, right time. About a boom. Right read. Five rounds in a row for Falcons. Snappy very consistent in shutting down Cave at the moment. Oh, I saw Sun Pius checking his mouse. Something wrong with it. Got some, borrows his mouse. Got some dust in the sensor. Depends on if Jimmy shows up. Stare. Oh. oh, finally, Snappy dies on a rifle round. But interesting spot here for Dupree. Oh, found out, bro. Stays on high alert just in case. You can see Stare cautious of it, so he makes sure to communicate the risk, and sure enough, pays off. But the bomb's still here. They're fanning out towards the A site. Yeah, Madden's gonna leave. They're not. They're not really considering B at the moment. Madden all the way off of the bomb site. That kill from Stare is gonna sell it. That's it. Hook, line, and sinker. They organized that so quickly. Work in. It's impossible to be like, to call against that, right? Like, I think what credits to the IGL. I think he's like kind of creating that culture, which takes time as like okay. as a caller because, yeah, I mean, if you if you don't feel like you can eventually like build a base with that style, then you're gonna look yeah silly. Or like in the case of of Cadian, where they didn't want to buy into a system and then it didn't work on Liquid, right? They they wanted what heroic had with him as the caller, but they didn't really sort of trust in it, right? And I think that, um, I don't know. I mean, I personally feel like if there was enough time, you would, you it would have worked. And maybe the right attitude as well. Mm. And I think Device maybe has a little bit more of that trust. He's got all the Danish players with him. He's obviously a, quite a winning player himself. So maybe he's taking on the ambitious goal of trying to build like a very sort of unique style. Ah! Work. One that- That was not needed over there. <laughs> Very nicely played. Great decisions. Well, it is a straw. It's a little bit low on money here. Mm -hmm. No, With the those. economic loss is clear. Down goes Stare out in middle. So, if you want to transition into the B hit, go ahead. But Madden out on the box is traded out by Snappy, doing a great job again of hanging on here. Dupree with the double. Comes out from long, and Falcon's gonna lap that up because, yeah, you fell victim to the fake, but you killed every single player at the end of that round win, and now you just shut them down on B. It's a project that cost the Counter-Strike scene a lot, right? And lift a trophy, becoming this team that we all start to cheer for throughout 2023, and then it evaporated. And Vitality. Mm-hmm. Who sort of get picked apart for the sake of Falcons as well. Oh, do they need to be careful here, though? I thought they had it in the bag with how little stair was on site. That deagle kind of changes things as it couples with the smoke. Oh, man. Device is pretty far removed still, though, and he's not allowed to make sound until now. Oh, oh God, nice that one. Works? Now the cave player, he's going to get tagged down. Device is going to try to move out. Bomb is planted on this side of the pillar. They're thinking long. He's gonna have it exposed. The Tech Nine oh. taps away Snappy. Dupree has the kit. Device has to run him down. Down to the half second. Oh, God. And Device. 1v2. Yeah, right. Dude, Stare. Stare's the guy who can set himself up for those very hard shots and feel confident doing it. How are they gonna expect him to stand there in front of the smoke right on the close wall? That's uh, so well played between the both of them. But man, this is an eco right after Falcons. Got all those exit frags. Won the follow-up rifle round. Into this. Earned an this easy. This is the freebie. This one's starting to heat up on an interpersonal level. Mm -hmm. Snappy started it. Astralis meet him in the middle. And Jabby's going to tear down Madden. Repeak into the ramp fight. Here comes Snappy. And there he goes too. Jabby hot on the trot. Just going to sprint into the site. He's got a USP in there with him in Sun Pius, and then rifles for the two Danes of Falcons, one of which 
stops Bro over towards the ramp, so things get a little stringy. Magisk is going to try to work back down ramp. A clean couple of kills, but there is still that USP back site. They're cautious. And he's so ill-equipped for this. Oh. It goes unchecked. Oh. He gets the stab! The free AK, and now, unfortunately for Jabby, other side of the smoke. Sun Bias gets away with the robbery. There's no way they let that happen. And now Jabby, who's tried a knife of his own, will get the quick clean kill. And Sun Pius now down, leaves it to Dupree. But what's the entry route? Jabby waits. Oh, the headshot what? is instant. A 4K for Jabby, a zany half a Counter-Strike. And we split this one straight down the middle. The marathon sprint all the way up Donut with the flashes. Oh, device doesn't hit anybody. Oh, he's going to have to concede sight now. Tucked into Temple. Bro, does Bro push this? They're going to wait for a flash, I think. They stopped watching. They'll go into the Temple fight instead. Jabby picking up the one kill towards middle could end up being key. Now, Donut's a bit compromised. Dupree's going to wide swing out. Shadow's going to keep them so hyper-focused. But maybe a little too fixated. Oh, that's critical. Magisk shutting down the donut flank. Now suddenly it's only the desperate CT. Retake 2v4 and bodies dropping. Every kill inside of the temple goes the way of Falcons until Bro finally gets one on one. Single point of health. He is doomed. And the Falcons take the lead. Yeah, nice, uh, nice one out of the Falcons. So, of course, we saw them sort of do that pendulum around the map, sort of like an overpass D side strat. Let's see if that CT side starts to make a statement. I find eyes on stare on the defense. If Snappy's able to take over Cave as much as he did. Wow, they oh. just mauled on their way up there. Jesus. No chance. Great utility and a very quick pace out of the climb from the Xbox. Now Bro's going to find perfect timing thanks to the flash of Device, who comes in with a double, and guns could make a hell of a difference. Well, that's the cleanest round we've seen so far this game. Gotta be careful in there. Yikes. Oh. Popped open, down. Oh, gets away. Oh, him and Snappy just exchanging position. Oh, yeah, right. And Stair turns and it Stare around for bottom it. mid. Man, that's one of those ones that felt like it could have gone either way, but the ramifications are now good positioning Astralis back to back rounds on the line. And no obvious route back into this one for Falcons. That early lead of theirs may have just disappeared. Good Molotov placement by Jabby. Ah. Instant headshot. <laughs> Careful what you ask for. Hey. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> I don't get neighbors often. And Dupree oh, gets rocks. Oh. Jabby from downtown. Oui. Gets away from him. Son Pius. Saw a very... It's got to be Astralis' biggest advantage. You never know where, where they're going to be, what decision they're making next. Mm. Like, they are really just like a five-headed Hydra. Got to keep your finger on the pulse. And it's a weakening pulse for Falcons. They've lost their lead. They buy back in. All of their utility is essentially used at the moment. Bro tries to barrel down ramp with support, and that is not going to work. Maybe a little too rambunctious. They let two more CTs get into position. Of course, still a good advantage here for the T side. As the pressure comes down. Uh oh. Don't let this one go. That uh, should be a good HE. He follows this up. Yo, Jabby, chill! Ooh. He goes into the ramp, gets two kills back, but has to still offer the man advantage. Oh my god. What a position to play for a device. He's not spotting them coming in, but if they over commit. Oh, the shadow is spotted. Oh, that's so awkward. I saw the shadow on the opposite wall, but should have been aware that that could happen if he's going to play in that spot. Right. Very weird. Very weird situation. This game's been a little weird. It's been That's fun. Been yeah. There's some, just some wild moments. And I was hyped about Astralis, you know, the beginning of the year. Yeah. But I'm not going to get that hyped again. I knew that clearly after watching a lot of their matches in the last few months, they're getting, they're good, and they're really fun to watch, but they still definitely are, are going to look, you know, sil super silly in some rounds. It's a bold move 
from Astralis to charge down that ramp like that. They're gonna crank it again. Javi, bottom middle. Oh, he's supported by Stair. Bloodlust on both sides. Magisk, does he fall victim to the smoke wrap? Does Javi? Yeah, he better. And he does end up collecting the kill, but Madden is right there to trade frag and Stair so low from the early fight. Stow goes through. What are we up to? I have to? no idea, but that's, yeah, that's why they love Ancient. So three on three. Kadian mentioned it. Device knows, you know, when and where to pick the right site for his offing, which he switches up on a lot. And here he is outside of B, but they pull back out of the cave. Still maybe intent on going to the site, but through another avenue. Bro up top. And the double peak is decent. Bro needed that kill and got it. They've given up cave entirely, the tease. Doesn't look like they're going to shy away from the B site. This could be a moment for Device to shine. Yeah, he's going to be comfortable right here because they're not even going to cross this path unless they're just taking it over towards A or something. They want the cave split. And if Device just stays locked in, stays certain about his ideas, then it falls onto the shoulders of Snappy, the top fragging player of Falcons, who tries to just go for the plant and gets called out. Stair comes out, sweeps him away. Very critical kill out of Bro. Absolutely. And um, a risky one as well. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's what we talk about with Bro, a little bit of X Factor out of him. Um, that's a moment where they're planning to f fight somebody on the ramp. They're going to come through the most careful double peak ever, and he just got a first bullet at him. Like, that's just it. That's the bottom line. And yeah, he gets traded, but he just totally keeps the hope alive right there. <laughs> They've got Second. two? They've got two. Here we that's go again. So much trouble. Flashes are good, but Dupree comes out with vision and Jabby shaves him off the round. Dude, there is nothing coming for free for Falcons when it comes to the middle of the map, but if they're cautious about a main this round, they've got reason to be. Madden picks up the kill in mid. Okay. That is a lot of pressure on Stair. He dropped his incendiary over towards main. Concerned about Donut, but also here's this rampage of players coming out. Magis just dies empty-handed. And Stair knows he's stuck between two fronts. His teammates come out and fight Device. It's deep from CT. No escape out through Donut, which means bomb in the possession of Astralis. Look how good the rotations are. We want to compare timings in the rotations. They're outclassing Falcons. Oh, 10 to 1. They trust themselves. They get in the positions quickly. And, like, that's a spot where Jabby dies. They think they can take over A. Stair has already rotated into Donut. His two teammates are already coming over through CT to help out. And he has to delay a little bit, and he knows he'll, they'll be right there. He's got Stown puffing his chest in cave. Bro, keen for a ramp fight, as we've seen before. Love the map control right now. The CT side, like, they're pressed up against everything. Like, as soon as Falcons leave, for example, or they run into a fight, information right away. Yeah, it's been suffocating all half long. They hear the foot burn on the other half of cave. They re-peak and down. Can't manage the kills. It's that drive-by that gets the crosshair off the point. Oh, here's the here's the point. Oh, Jabby caught with Nato. Oh, but he still just shaves Magisk out of it. And as he pops back up, the temple refrags good from Dupree. He wants to go deep, but then decides better of it. Bro finding timing, and then another peak. The pressure is just exhausting for Team Falcons. And the pressure falls to the shoulders of Dupree, going for the bomb plant in what's left of this 1v3. Both members of Astralis coming at him from Donut in a moment. And he doesn't know where they're at, but he will take one down. Bro's out of it. Shots come whizzing past him. He's got a health advantage over Device. And as he waits for the peak to come out, now it's even doubt. And now it is put down. Astralis with a 2-0 over Falcons tonight. Wow, they actually make it happen. Device and Co. will pick it up. There's a lot of learning to do as to how good they're going to be in this season. And for Falcons, they ended stronger than we saw in Season 1. But uh, it still looks like they have to find their own style, which Astralis have, even though they're lacking a little bit on the fundamentals. Yeah, most certainly so. But man, listen, cue up that Vitality Astralis game because I want to see more of that CT side, and I want to see it soon.